Hey everyone, what's up? So we are here today to review Berserk Chapter 350. Yeah, this is the long anticipated review. You guys asked for it and we love you, so here we are, we're doing it. Plus we're a Berserk channel, so technically we should be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a choice, this is in our contract. <laughs> so let's begin. So in this week's, oh sorry, in this previous month's Berserk Chapter, we saw that, you know, we got to see a backstory of Guts and we saw that the heroine characters took the role yet again, but they got to see Guts when he was younger yeah. and see a past from Casca's perspective, which was very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I want to say it's even though it was another filler type episode, it was very, very important because it gives the heroine characters, sorry, heroine, sounding like a drug, heroine. <laughs> The, he, the female heroes. You're not shooting up, right? No, no. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm clean, I'm clean. You better not be. <laughs> so it gives the female heroes a chance to see Guts when he was, you know, a little less monstrous and dark yeah, and, and yeah. scary. And, and I think also it shows the relationship between Guts and Casca mm -hmm. and some of the things that they experienced. I mean... Yeah, the sex the, scene. The, yeah, the yeah. very... That was hot. No, but on a serious note, you know... They said that themselves that they, they knew, but it really gives them a, more of a perspective. Well, it wasn't they. It was just, you know, funny. Uh, well, they... Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, <laughs> you need to check out our Facebook page. If you haven't, come over onto our Facebook page. Check out our Facebook page. We have kind of funny memes. So, yeah, check it out. Anyways, but back to the, the main plot, right? So, one thing that I took away from this chapter, one thing that was really important to me was the fact that we saw them at the end going towards this pyramid-like thing. Which we had already anticipated had great significance, you know, from the mm. beginning when we saw them enter Casca's mind. Right. We figured this is this thing is going to be pretty important. Right. And one other thing we saw is that, you know, uh, Shariki and uh, Farnes, they're well, war dong. Well, let's say Shirke. All right, Shirke. Because, you, because you know somebody's gonna get uh, upset. So right. Shirke. So one thing we saw there's a Shirke and Farnes. Shirke. Did <laughs> Shirke. we say that right? Yeah. Shirke and Farnes, they are wandering towards this big pyramid-looking mountain thing. Yeah. But they are worn down. They are kind of like, man, how much time has passed, you know? Yes. Yeah, so I think that's another important point to know. The passage of time is very different. Mm -hmm. So once again, you know, it's questionable. Right. How, how much time is gone? What do you guys think? How, how long do you think it's been? I think it's just been a night because it's just, you know, in dreams, time is relative. But the whole fact is that this probably got to see every part of Casca's past in fragments. So they have a full on understanding of what she went yeah. through with Guts. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure when they come out, it would solidify Casca coming back to the group and it would be more of a girly bond instead of like someone just appearing. It's like, oh, who's this new person? I have to get to know this person and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they know her inside out. And yeah. I think from Farnes's reaction, she can identify with the emotions that she's feeling. Right. And it's deepening the connection between the two. Exactly. So, uh, the next thing I wanted to note is that if you remember earlier, uh, before 350, the mini Casca was just like frantically jumping around whenever she needed to communicate or express herself. Exactly. And here, in this chapter, we're seeing that she's actually able to talk. Right. So this is giving us a hint that, hey, hang on, things are working here. You know, the doll's being pieced together. Right. Mini Casca is now able to talk. All right, so one big significant thing is that when they go to this mountain, the fragments here are going to have more power, more clout than the previous ones. Yeah, this is going to be like repiecing Casca on steroids. Yes. Type of deal. This is going to be her heart and soul, right? Yeah. So the conflicting things she's dealing with up in that mountain. Right now, her soul's in pieces, but why? Is she dealing with the fact that Guts saw her being raped by Femto? And, I mean, is this something Farnes and, you know, Shereke is going to experience from Casca's perspective? Oh, well, for sure. They're going to experience it from Casca. Well, maybe not, you know, Shereke probably needs to be protected from it. Um, but I think that more than her feeling ashamed because Guts had witnessed the rape, of, right. you know, her rape, Casca was Griffith's ally. She respected right. him. He was her leader. She loved him. Mm -hmm. She served under him. So there's a great sense of betrayal, you know? Right. So I think it's a combination of the fact that she was betrayed by somebody that she trusted and also 
the shame of having your lover watch that horrendous act take yeah. place. Because you know, this whole chapter has been focused on Guts and Casca's relationship. Yeah. So you know the last piece is going to be Guts watching her being raped. And the last thing she said to him was, don't watch. Exactly. So they're going to address, based on what we think, the elephant in the room. Right. And not only that, it's going to also deal with the conflict of Griffith killing all her friends and loved ones, like, you know. Possibly, yeah. The entire team. And also, it might also deal with the fact that Casca, despite all this, may still love Griffith as a person because of everything that has happened between them. Yeah, they've it, been through a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of emotions here, and this is a fairly new type of take on Berserk in recent years, because, as we all know, as of late, Berserk has just been gun ho killing, monster yeah, fighting. Yeah, it's been monster killing, demon slaying, yeah. and now we're gonna, they're gonna hit us in the fields with this because we're gonna address a really, or they're gonna address a really sensitive topic. Right. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's gonna be a combination of all three? It's the death of her friends, the fact that she loves Griffiths despite all this, mm -hmm. or the fact that she saw Guts watching her being humiliated like this, or would it have more stuff to deal with? like? The fact that she knows that the child she has is a mixture of guts and Griffith. Now that's a conflict, isn't it? That's a big conflict. Right. So, and guys, let us know what were those monsters in 350, okay? Make sure that you like this video because they make the likes make me happy. They uh, really do. Yeah, it, it make me okay. They yeah. make my day. <laughs> like the video. Thanks for stopping by over and out. Thank you so much for tuning in and checking out our video. If you haven't already liked it, hit the like button right now. And don't forget to check out the description box. We've got it completely filled out with information and videos that you do not want to miss. Leave your comments and questions down below. Subscribe over and out.